Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I couldn't be more thrilled to have my girl Claire here with me. She is with Vanity Claire. You guys have to check out her blog. It's amazing. I'm going to go ahead and put the link below. So what we're going to do today is a really fun, lived-in, bohemian um, braid style for you guys. I put something similar to this on my Instagram, and everyone gave it a big thumbs up. So this is going to be the tutorial. Let's go ahead and get started. What I went ahead and did to prep Claire's hair to create all this texture is I used some Label M products. So I went ahead and used the protein spray in her hair and blow dried it in. And so what this actually is, it's a lightweight leave-in conditioner. And what I like about it is that it helps even out the porosity of her hair. Um, I use it inside the salon a lot when I'm doing uh, root retouches. And then I'll go ahead and spray it all over and then pull the color through. And you can tell I use it a lot because the bottle is a little bit stained from all the color I use. Then after that, I used a little bit of salt spray and blow dried it the opposite way it's going to lay and that really added a lot of uh, texture and grit to the hair to create that really lived in vibe. So that is going to set us up for success when we're creating our beautiful um, bohemian style. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and section the back off and work the front sections first. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my clip and then go from the crown to the ear on both sides and clip away the back section. All right, so what we're gonna do on each side is create a Dutch braid, and we're simply gonna do that by doing a small triangle section. This is gonna be the beginning of our Dutch braid. So Dutch braids are when you're working underhanded opposed to overhanded. So we're just gonna go ahead and split the hair in three sections. The right section is going under, the left section is going under into the middle, and now we want to start incorporating hair to that middle section. So just scoop up some hair from the hairline back to the braid, going into the middle. Now that left section needs a little bit of hair, so we're going to scoop up some hair from the parting to our braid, and that whole section is going to go into the middle. So we're going to repeat this section um, technique all the way down until we run out of hair, and then just continue with a simple three-strand braid tip. We're gonna go ahead and secure the ends with an elastic and do the same thing on the opposite side. So before we start working with the back section, I'm just gonna go ahead and stretch the braid and pancake it out. I do this a lot. And what's really cool about having that salt spray in there is that it's really set us, setting us up for success because it's just gonna have that grit and texture to hold into place. So that's very, very key before performing um, this type of braid. Okay, so now what I'm gonna go ahead and do is work the back section. I'm gonna add a little bit of souffle by Label M. This is gonna create a really nice undone texture. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it from the roots to the ends, and what it's gonna help do is add a little bit more separation and give some definition to our waves before we create our braid. So what we're gonna do now is get it in there really nicely. It's really helped polish any of uh, our flyaways. I'm gonna go ahead and split the hair in half and we're just gonna create a simple three strand braid on each side. So with starting with the right, split the hair in three. And then create our three strand braid. So now I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and then secure the ends with an elastic and then we're gonna pull the whole hairstyle together. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and pancake these braids out to create a little bit more fullness. Now I'm just gonna add a little bit of hairspray by Label M, this stuff is amazing just for extra hold, and we're gonna connect all the braids together. So simply, I'm just gonna twist the braids in one another, then I'm gonna take an elastic off and secure it at the very ends to connect them both. 
spread out the hair a little bit, take a hairpin from underneath, and then push it through and leave it going downwards to just connect the top. And then we're gonna take these two braids, pinch it together. I'm going to connect it with a bobby pin underneath. So again, pushing it down and weaving it in and out, in and out, pushing it downwards. Then we're gonna twist these two guys together, securing the ends with an elastic. And because I don't want these ends to show, I'm just gonna simply tuck it in our braid, pull it through. And then I'm gonna secure the whole thing with a hairpin from underneath. So pushing the hairpin in, weaving it in and out, going down. All right, so now to finish this look off, all I'm gonna do is fold the hairstyle and pinch and pull the top here just for a little bit more volume. And what's great is since we put that salt spray in there, it definitely has that memory to bounce back up. And that is about it. So we used all Label M products, the salt spray, protein spray, and the souffle, and we did a gorgeous bohemian style. So I hope you guys liked it. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Feel free to check me out on Instagram, at the Confessions of a Hairstylist, and I'll see you soon.